One of the benefits of being active in a local hackerspace is getting to hang out with a lot of creative, energetic, knowledgeable people that tend to be very open and approachable. That's very true at Tokyo Hackerspace. You'll never know what new and exciting project is going to suddenly pop up at one of the meetings. For example, at the meeting last night, Chris, who also goes by the handle of Akiba, just happened to mention that he's put together a new wireless Arduino board, and he's thinking about offering it for sale on his Freak Labs open source wireless website. When he pulled out the new project out of his backpack, we were very surprised and uh, very pleasantly to the point that we'll probably buy a couple of them as soon as they're available. The baseboard includes a full Arduino implementation coupled with wireless capability. It's like all the Freak Lab products, the execution is extremely professional. It could be used for commercial products in addition to research, prototyping, and hobby level projects. But Chris didn't stop there. He designed in a lot of expandability, including some neat packaging. We're joking about the foot option in the uh, photo, but Chris probably could have added it in if you're seriously interested. In line with the local culture, the meeting and lecture rooms at our hackerspace here have a no-shoes policy. The board was designed so that you can stack additional layers, including prototype circuits, with one additional layer fitting nicely into the case, or you can add two additional layers if you use a deeper case cover, which is available. The case also includes a battery compartment with an external snap-out cover so that the batteries can be swapped out without opening the main case. The case that Chris selected also has uh, these option rubber bumper covers that are really neat uh, that are available in several different colors. As a result, you can hack together an Arduino-based project with wireless connectivity, add your own circuits and interfaces, and end up with a completed device that looks like it came off the shelf at Fry's or Best Buy. We have several projects in mind for this. High on our list is using it as a robot uh, controller. Put it on a platform with wheels uh, or not a humanoid, but uh, something mobile or uh, ArtBot uh, controller. This would also be very good for transport, like if we want to take it to robo games and go through um, inspection security. A uh, second idea is to use it with our pocket Wi-Fi device as a mobile communication hub for our recumbent trike. We want to set it up to log data like our position, speed, and other information. We also want to rig it with a webcam mounted on our recumbent to take time-lapse photos automatically and document our tracks and have them automatically uploaded to Flickr. You want to check out the Freak Labs website for more details, price, and availability. You'll also find a host of other open source wireless products that Chris has designed. He does custom product development for several well-known companies, so give him a ping if you have any special wireless requirements.